Hello interwebs and welcome to the newest tutorial that I have on my agenda. This one is a first for me. I'm going to be covering Sony Vegas, one of the programs I use other than that and Windows Movie Maker to edit videos. Um, this is something that I discovered when I was making my new channel trailer, which should be up within a couple of weeks because uh, I didn't I don't have all the film, all the uh, clips filmed yet. But um, what I have to do is, as you're going to see in the future, is that I needed to move something in a circle. And there was no feature in Vegas to do that. So I did it by hand and it came out sloppy. So I wasn't going to do that. But what I decided to do is I said, wait, what if I take a circle, as you can see right here on my desktop, and then if I put a blip, a red blip on that circle, and then I have a blue blip on another, just in the middle of a picture, the exact center, and if I rotate that circle, which you can do in Vegas, and I set keyframes to where that blue dot follows the circle, the red blip on the circle, then wouldn't that be a perfect circle, move, circular movement? So that's what I want to demonstrate today. And it's not hard to do. If you want these pictures, I'm going to load them up in my Dropbox. That way you can uh, do it for yourself if for any project that you have. But for this, what I'm going to be do is I'm going to have my desktop wallpaper, which I'm going to add in the background. Add a few more layers. And I'm going to want to make Nigel Thornberry do a circle around it. So what I'm going to do is I have my circle and my blue dot. I'm going to load those up. And I'm just going to put my circle in the, just on the top layer like so. Actually, it's going to go on the middle layer. And for the effect, it's going to be um, transparent whenever I have the video uploaded. But um for the sake of this, I'm going to chroma key it. Just get that white out the way. And as you can see, I'm going to have the circle just directly in the middle. Nothing fancy. In the middle like this. That way you can see the green, which is the path that this red blip is going to take. And then the red blip itself. And then I'm going to put this blue dot in front of the red blip like this. And I'm also going to chroma key out the white, which I said it will be uh, transparent in my Dropbox. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the key, I guess it's called the keyframe editor, the video event effects. And we're going to go to our circle. And let's just say we're going to have it rotate for four seconds and what we're going to do is we're going to have this circle rotate twice one and you, you can see it moving on the preview as I'm doing this two and you know you can enter an exact number if you really want it to but uh, okay close enough so now if we go and we play this back, we should have the circle rotating, and we have the circle rotating, and we have that red blip going around in the circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the video event effects, we're going to go in the um, keyframe editor for the blue dot now, and on the first frame we're going to move it right on top of that red dot, or make it a little smaller. Now this will now this will affect your um, your image, so adjust your image size according to what it should be. Okay, and just make sure that we have it our cursor synced, and we're just going to go a little bit at a time, and we're going to line up our blue dot with our red dot, and we're going to do this for the whole duration of the four seconds. So this can take a while, and I'm not going to put you through this misery, but I'm going to be back whenever I finish. All right, I'm back. Um, I was able to cheat through this a little bit. What I did is I went for one revolution of the circle, 
and I did a whole bunch of keyframes. As you can see, this is not something quick to do. So after the revolution, I just copy and pasted keyframes for the second revolution since I was only doing two revolutions. And as you can see here in the preview, make this a little bigger, that the blue dot is going over the red dot in a circular motion, kind of like it's riding that green rail. So how am I going to make this to any image or video that I want? For example, Nigel Thornberry. Well, I'm just going to go in this keyframe, go on a shift, click on that last keyframe, right click, and I'm going to click copy. And I can actually delete this if I want to. Go to Nigel Thornberry, put Nigel in, and then go to my zero keyframe here, hit paste. And once all them keyframes are loaded, you will have Nigel Thornberry going in circles. And you can see you might have to um, change some things and make it all right click. Um, match, um, yeah, out, yeah. And then, oh. <laughs> Thought it worked for all the keyframes, but the more you know. But as you can see, Nigel Thornberry is going around in a circle. What I do is I'm actually going to, in the version I'm doing, since most videos are going to be in 16 by 9, I'm going to put the, not the circle, but the uh, the blue dot. I'm going to put the blue dot in 1920 by 1080. Um, but as you can see, Nigel's going around in a circle. Um, the reason why you have these bars is, as you can see at certain points, this F box is the view, and you can see it right here, if I matched it up, his head is what's cut off here, and that's what's also cut off here. But that can really just be fixed by changing it in the very beginning to match the output aspect, and also locking that aspect ratio. And then you're going to have to resize it. It's not it's not an easy task, but film editing is not an easy task. Um, but once you can see, he's going in a circle, having a smashing time. So uh, you can see, um, not difficult, but not simple. It's pretty time taking. I didn't, I didn't time myself on it, but it took a few minutes. Uh, you could probably look at the at my desktop time right here in the lower right corner. I didn't change any time just to see how long it took. Uh, any questions? Hit me up in the comments. And as Nigel would say, have a smashing time.